With this question, we're reviewing examples, or uh, I guess applications, of marginal analysis. Uh, so in the following examples, state how you would use the principle of marginal analysis to make a decision. Uh, and just heads up, we're taking this from Krugman Wells Microeconomics, Chapter 1, Question 5. So Part A, uh, use marginal analysis to help come to a decision in A, deciding how many days to wait before doing your laundry. The idea here is that doing one's laundry has a cost and a benefit. Uh, the cost of, I guess, not doing one's laundry um, is the additional, I guess, smells and dirtiness of one's clothes, potential embarrassment of having bad, dirty, smelly clothes, uh, while the benefit of waiting to do your laundry is that extra free time you, you get by not doing it. Uh, so the idea here is that that it hears that you will wait uh, each day, each additional day of doing your laundry, so long as the benefit of not doing your laundry, the free time you get, outweighs the cost of not doing your laundry. You know, that was smelly dirtiness. Turning to the next one, uh, deciding how much library research to do before uh, writing your term paper. Uh, presumably here, uh, you know, uh, doing library research has the benefit of improving the quality of your paper, you know, making it better, making it longer, generally. Uh, and then the cost of doing this library research is a couple things. Well, presumably you could also be doing other things with your free time. And then also continue to do library research is just not time you're actually sitting there to write your paper. So the idea of the optimal behavior here is that you'll continue to do another hour of library research so long as the value of that extra research uh, outweighs the cost of not doing it. Um, and just so you know, like that, that language there, you will continue to do something so long as the benefit of doing that outweighs the cost. It's going to be kind of something we're going to pair it for the, the next examples uh, and is the, the principle of marginal analysis. Okay, so uh, part C, deciding how many bags of chips to eat. So once again, uh, what are the benefits and costs of bags of chips? So the benefits of bags of chips are, you know, maybe they're tasty, uh, there's, and there's some nutritional value, maybe you're hungry, while the cost of bags represents uh, things like the cost, the actual dollar amount that the bag of chips cost, uh, as well as if you're weight conscious or something like that, uh, you know, those kind of un unwanted side effects of eating too many bags of chips. Um, so the optimal number of bags of chips that one should eat uh, is such that uh, so long as eating another bag of chips, the benefits of that outweighs those costs that we went through, uh, then you will bought, purchase and eat that additional bag of chips. So moving on to the last one, D, deciding how many lectures of class to skip. Uh, so once again, let's do the costs and the benefits. So uh, the benefits of skipping a class are all the things that you could do by not going to class. Um, so all that use of your free time. However, the cost are the, so assuming you get some value from attending lectures, you're losing all of that extra value. You're losing that signal as to what potentially is on the exam, uh, all the information you might lose. So the idea here is that so long as the benefit of skipping class, you know, that free time outweighs the cost, you know, the potential cost to your grade, um, then you will you should choose to skip that extra class. So once again, uh, so once again, in terms of reviewing marginal analysis, the idea here is that uh, there's a lot of economic decisions, and some aren't like this boolean yes or no kind of operation, you know, whether or not to do something, uh, but they're questions of well, how much should I do? Like, what dollar amount should I spend? What quantity uh, should I choose? Um, and so how much you spend on a good, how much you to produce, and so on. Uh, the idea is that such decisions, you are performing a trade-off between the benefit of that thing uh, versus the cost of that thing. Um, this process is called marginal analysis, um, uh, and these types of decisions are called marginal decisions. Great, thanks. I hope you found this helpful.